by the time you've lost enough bone to be diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis, a lot has gone wrong within your body. Your doctor may tell you osteoporosis is just an artifact of aging and menopause. They'll tell you that since aging is the cause and we can't prevent aging, then the only solution is a medicine. They're wrong. In fact, they're so wrong that if it weren't so tragic, it would be comical. The truth is osteoporosis is a complex condition caused by multiple life and lifestyle factors, none of which are a Fosamax or Perlia deficiency. In addition, if aging were the cause, then everyone who is of advanced age would suffer osteoporotic fractures in their lives, which isn't the case. So there must be more to the story. This YouTube channel is the answer to the question, what causes osteoporosis and how do I prevent or treat it without resorting to side effect laden medications? So if that's your goal, now would be a great time to like this video, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell. I'm Dr. Ray Heinisch, a pharmacist specializing in bone health and author of the book, Strong Bones Forever. Today, I want to talk about potassium, a mineral that could be the game changer in your osteoporosis management strategy. The reason this is an important topic is because of all the possible causes of bone loss, potassium deficiency could be one of the earliest triggers to unnecessary bone breakdown and one of the easiest ways to add protection from this devastating diagnosis. Now, here's what most people don't realize. Calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin K aren't the only important factors in building bone. You could be doing everything else right, but if you're making this one mistake, you could still lose bone. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how potassium, yes, the same mineral you associate with bananas and blood pressure, is actually one of your most powerful allies in protecting your bones. You'll discover why your current bone health strategy might be incomplete and exactly how to use potassium to stop bone loss from the inside out. But first, let me explain the hidden process that's been silently stealing your bone density even while you sleep. Here's what's really happening inside your body that's causing bone loss, and it has nothing to do with not getting enough calcium. Every single day, the foods you eat are creating what scientists call a dietary acid load in your body. Think about your typical daily diet. Maybe you have eggs and toast for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch, chicken and rice for dinner. These aren't bad foods, but here's the problem. Meat, grains, and processed foods create acid in your body when they're metabolized. Your body absolutely cannot tolerate being too acidic, so it has to neutralize this acid immediately. And here's where it gets scary. Your skeleton becomes your body's emergency acid neutralizing system. When your blood becomes too acidic, your bones literally dissolve themselves to release alkaline minerals like calcium, phosphate, and potassium to buffer that acid. It's like your bones are sacrificing themselves to keep you alive. This isn't theory. This is proven science. When your body is in this chronic low-grade acidic state, it triggers a cascade of bone destruction. The acid environment suppresses your osteoblasts, the cells that build new bone, while simultaneously ramping up your osteoclasts, the cells that break down bone. But it gets worse. This acidic environment also increases the production of something called rankle a protein that's like a destroy bone now signal. The more acidic your body becomes, the more rankle is produced and the faster your bones dissolve. This is happening 24 seven every single day. While you're sleeping, while you're exercising, while you're taking your calcium supplements, your bones are being slowly dissolved to buffer the acid from your diet. But here's the incredible news. Potassium can stop this entire destructive process. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. Potassium works as nature's bone protector by doing something remarkable. It neutralizes the dietary acid load before your bones have to sacrifice themselves. Think of potassium as a bodyguard for your skeleton. When you consume potassium, especially in alkaline forms like potassium citrate or glycinate or bicarbonate, it acts as a powerful alkaline buffer. Instead of your bones having to release their minerals like calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus to neutralize acid, the potassium does the job instead. Studies show that when people take alkaline potassium salts, their markers of bone breakdown, things like N-terminal telepeptide, drop significantly. This means their bones literally stop dissolving themselves. In one landmark study, potassium citrate increased bone mineral density while reducing calcium loss through the urine. Remember that destructive rankle cascade I mentioned? Potassium interrupts this entire process. By maintaining an alkaline environment, potassium prevents the prostaglandin production that leads to rankle formation. It's like cutting the communication line between the acid stress and the bone destruction signals. But potassium does something else incredible. It helps you keep the calcium you're already taking. When your body is acidic, you lose massive amounts of calcium through the urine. Alkaline potassium salts can reduce this calcium loss by up to 50%.
That means the calcium supplements you're taking actually stay in your body instead of being flushed away. This is why potassium isn't competing with calcium and vitamin D. It's making them work better. Calcium provides the building blocks. Vitamin D helps you absorb them. And potassium ensures that they don't get wasted through acid-driven bone dissolution. So how much potassium do you need? The general recommendation is about 2,600 milligrams daily for women and 3,400 milligrams for men through diet and supplements. But for bone health benefits, some studies suggest up to 4,700 milligrams daily. However, supplementation is typically safe up to 3,900 milligrams daily for most healthy adults with a standard somewhat healthy diet. Let's start with food sources because these are the safest and most natural way to increase your potassium intake. The best sources are fruits and vegetables, nature's alkaline powerhouses. What's great about food sources of potassium is you get so many other healthy compounds in alkalinizing minerals. Here are your potassium superstars. One medium banana has about 400 milligrams. A cup of spinach has 840 milligrams. A medium avocado has 975 milligrams. Sweet potatoes, broccoli, tomatoes, and kale are excellent sources. For those who eat dairy, milk and yogurt provides both potassium and calcium together. But here's the key. Focus on alkaline-rich foods. Fruits and vegetables don't just provide potassium, they also help create the alkaline environment within your bones. This is why a diet rich in produce is so protective for bone health. If you've subscribed to this channel, you are aware that I am a fan of protein for bone health. The challenge is protein, especially animal protein, can add acid load to the body. To account for this, I usually recommend that you eat four times the volume of fruits and vegetables for every portion of protein. For example, if you eat a palm-sized portion of chicken breast, you should eat four palm-sized portions of vegetation if you're considering supplements, this is where it gets important to understand the different forms. Not all potassium supplements are created equal for bone health. For bone protection, you want alkaline potassium salts, specifically potassium citrate, potassium glycinate, or potassium bicarbonate. These are the forms that have proven to reduce bone breakdown and increase bone density. Potassium chloride, the form usually prescribed by doctors while still beneficial, is a neutral salt and doesn't provide the same alkalinizing benefits. Potassium supplements come as tablets, capsules, powders, and liquids. I usually recommend capsules or tablets because there is a lower risk of overdosing on potassium. As always, start with lower doses and gradually increase as tolerated. I usually start people with 300 milligrams twice daily and can increase to 600 milligrams twice daily for most people. There's one formula that I recommend above all others, and you can find a link to that product in the description. Now, before you rush out to buy potassium supplements, there are some critical safety considerations you absolutely must know about before you start supplementing. The biggest risk with potassium supplementation is something called hyperkalemia, having too much potassium in your blood. This can cause muscle weakness, irregular heart rhythms, and in severe cases, cardiac arrest. This is why potassium supplements are more regulated than other minerals. This is especially important for older adults. If you have had any kidney disease, you must be extremely cautious with potassium. Your kidneys are responsible for removing excess potassium, and if they're not working properly, potassium can build up to dangerous levels. Generally, when your kidney function drops below 30% of normal, potassium supplementation becomes risky. Now, potassium can interact dangerously with several common medications that many people over 55 take. If you're on ACE inhibitors for blood pressure, angiotensin blockers, or potassium-sparing diuretics like spironolactone, adding potassium supplements could push your levels too high. This is why I always recommend starting with dietary sources first. It's very difficult to get too much potassium from food alone because your body regulates it naturally. Foods also provide potassium in more balanced ways with other nutrients. If you do decide to supplement, work with your healthcare provider and get your potassium levels checked regularly, especially when starting or increasing doses. Even though certain people need to be careful with potassium supplementation, it's worth doing the work to determine if you are a good candidate for potassium supplementation because the benefits can be so powerful and can have positive effects beyond your bones. Let me bring this all together for you. Potassium, particularly in alkaline forms like citrate, offers a scientifically proven way to protect your bones by neutralizing the dietary acid load that's constantly forcing your skeleton to sacrifice itself. This isn't about replacing calcium and vitamin D. It's about complementing your bone's health strategy. Think of it as a three-legged stool. Calcium provides the building blocks, vitamin D and K help you absorb them, and potassium ensures they don't get wasted through acid-driven bone loss. Here's what I want you to do. First, increase your intake of potassium-rich fruits and vegetables. Aim for at least five to 10 servings daily. Second, if you're considering supplementation, talk to your healthcare provider about whether alkaline potassium salts like potassium citrate, glycinate, or bicarbonate 
might be appropriate for your situation. When you look at your blood work, aim to have your potassium levels in the mid-range and don't be satisfied with low normal. This conversation with your doctor is especially important if you have kidney disease, take blood pressure medications, or have any heart conditions. They can check your current potassium levels and kidney function to determine if supplementation is safe for you. The exciting thing about this approach is that you're not just slowing bone loss, you're potentially stopping one of the major causes of bone destruction that's been happening silently in your body, possibly for years. Your bones have an incredible capacity to respond when you give them what they need. By addressing this acid alkaline balance with potassium, you're giving your skeleton the protection it deserves. If this information was helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe for more evidence-based bone health strategies. And let me know in the comments, are you going to try increasing your potassium intake? If so, how? I'd love to hear about your bone health journey. I'm Dr. Ray Heinisch, author of the book Strong Bones Forever and creator of the Osteo Coach Center for Strong Bones. I'll see you soon.